channel. So I just realized six hours after <laughs> I filmed the video, I didn't do the intro. So I am doing a inspired look by Christy Teigen from the Oscars or Grammy Oscars. Yeah. And I just wanted to film my version of it. Grace says hi. Hi. And Grace just knocked down a light. So stay tuned if you want to see how I got the better version of this look and yeah see you guys next time bye um, i already have my foundation and my under eye concealer and my brows done just because i figured that would be a really long video let me just put my hair back i attempted to start curling it because i have her photo right here and she has like waves but it took too long so i'll finish it after the video <laughs> um so i think i'm going to start with eyes and just as a base, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this NYX Single Shadow in Immaculate. And it's just a cream base or a cream colored shadow just as a base. Um, I already primed my lids with concealer, MAC Pro Longwear. So I'm going to go in with my original Urban Decay Naked palette, which I haven't used in forever. And I'm just going to take a blending brush and I'm going to go in with Naked, which is this third brown right there. It's just a neutral brown i'm gonna use that as my transition color i'm gonna pop that right in the crease and work my way up and i'm just gonna get that all over the i'm actually gonna take this pressed pigment by l'oreal it's the l'oreal infallible eyeshadow and I'm going to take Amber Brush. It may be a little warm, so I'm actually going to mix it on a shader brush. This is my MAC 214 brush. I'm just going to pick up some of that shadow. And then I'm also going to pick up Sidecar in the Urban Decay palette. I'm going to just place that in the crease and partially on the lid. I'm also going to add a lighter color to the lid once I'm done with this. And to create a little bit more depth, I'm going to mix Dark Horse and Smog from the original Naked palette. And I'm going to go in with a Real, Techni Real Techniques shading brush. Just on the outer V. just a little bit more of the Urban Decay shadow. Just to warm it all up a little bit. Back in with that original blending brush with no product on it, with no additional product, and just blend all that out. I'm gonna finish the other eye and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that I finished both eyes, I'm going to take this little pencil brush. I'm gonna go into Virgin in that original Urban Decay palette and I'm going to pop that right on my inner tear ducts. Just going to go in with that um, naked color and I'm going to mix it with Buck in that palette and I'm going to just hit that lower lash line. I'm just going to press this under to take that pencil brush again and I'm going to go in with a smog. And I'm just going to smoke that underneath that lash line where we just placed those shadows. Now I'm going to cream contour and then I'm going to bronze my face and all that good stuff because she had a killer contour in bronze. So I'm just going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in deep and... I'm just going to go exactly where I would contour. Draw a line. And she has really pronounced cheekbones and cheeks, like big apples over cheeks. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to accentuate that. And this is going to look insane, but once you blend it out, it looks really nice. Take this 
Hard Candy Bronzer in Hula Hula. And that same bronzer brush I used in my last video. And I'm just going to put that on my brush and go over where that contour just was and create some warmth to my pale, pale face. It has a really nice jaw set, but more of a square chin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with that Maybelline concealer and I'm gonna just look straight and I'm just gonna bring this right underneath my jaw. Hopefully you can see that. To create more of a shadow and right underneath my chin, I'm gonna square it out just a little bit. There's myself all bronzed up. Oh. And now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia contour kit and I'm gonna set that contour and kind of sharpen it up a little bit and do my under eye. I'm gonna use my Anastasia contour kit. I'm gonna use vanilla right here and banana. Sure. I'm going to take this Real Technique setting brush and I'm gonna go into the color Fawn. And I am just gonna go right where I just placed that cream contour and I'm gonna set it. All right guys, so I finished doing my hair, kind of, and I put mascara, lashes, all that stuff. Now we're gonna go in with a highlight. I'm gonna use the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It is my favorite highlight. I'm just gonna take a tapered face brush. I'm just gonna hit the highest points of my cheeks and really give myself that glow that she had. So she was glowing. I'm gonna hit my cupid's bow, center of my nose and forehead. Lips. I cannot find the lipstick that she had on. I have it somewhere in my collection. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of mimic that really wine toned color. It was a little bit red, a little bit maroon, and just beautiful. And so I'm gonna take by L'Oreal, it's their, it's called Red Wine. Show Matte Lip Velvet, it's a matte in Meteoric Matte. I'm just gonna go. Grace's eyes. guys and that is the final look um i hope you enjoyed it and thumbs up subscribe like this video share it leave me your comments down below let me know who was your favorite look um out outfit wise or makeup wise from the oscars 2015 and yeah so there's that i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time Bye.